everybody. This is Ralphine Childs with the Madness TV. Today I got a real simple recipe for you. It's a sweet potato cobbler. Don't forget to subscribe for all kinds of creative recipes. Like the channel, leave any comments that you would like. I'll make sure I put the recipe in the description box. Let me show you how I do it. Sweet potato cobbler, quick and easy. We're gonna start with a nine by nine inch pan or casserole dish. This is a half a stick of melted butter. You can use the salted or unsalted. And then I just got these canned yams. And I typically don't make my desserts with canned yams, but this works perfectly. One, two cans of these, I think it's, uh, what is this, 15 ounces. Two of these cans of yams. And then you kind of break them up into, break them up just a little bit into your melted butter. You know, not too much, just a little bit, so you don't have too big chunk, too big of a chunk when you bite into it. Oh, that's one piece. Just break them up into your yams, I mean into your melted butter. A little bit. This will make a small casserole dish worth of uh, sweet potato um, cobbler. Break them up. This is an easy recipe. You want to surprise some folks at home? This is a good one, real quick, midweek blessing. Don't have to be a holiday. So break them up in there real good, you know. This is probably enough of maybe four to six people. Or leftovers for two. Alrighty, once you get your yams kind of laid in there, break them, break them up just again a little bit so they're not too chunky. When you bite into them. Okay, that's fine, good. Oh, got a little bit more here. A little bit more, break it up just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pour the rest of this juice that was in there. Oh, I see a little spot there. And then, I'm gonna pour this, the rest of the juice that was in both cans I'm gonna pour some of that, maybe not all of it, maybe about half of it. And you can see I got still got some left, so maybe about half of it. Half of the two cans, so one can's worth. Then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of cinnamon. We love cinnamon. One teaspoon of cinnamon, shake that all up in my ear. One teaspoon of cinnamon. And I like to add a pinch of nutmeg. So a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Just kind of give it a little earthiness. Let me add a little bit more, I think. About a quarter teaspoon, you know. Okay. And then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. This is actually imitation vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla, good. Put that in there. And then, you know what? I'm gonna add about a half a cup of brown sugar. Yep, get that brown sugar in there. Woo, there's nothing like brown sugar, honey. If you just use the regular sugar all your life, you need to step up your sugar game. Add a little brown sugar, low key. Brown sugar is life changing. Okay. About a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna push this to the side. And then in this little dish here, I'm gonna add one, and one half cup of self-rising flour. one half cup of white sugar, one half cup of milk, so it's half, 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 equal parts, depends on how big you're making it. And in this one, I'm gonna add just a dash of salt, just a little bit of salt. Salt just does something for me, just to kind of give it some depth. And then I'm gonna just mix this up a little bit 
Just whisk that together. This is gonna help you get your crusting for your cobbler. See how quick that was? This is gonna be an amazing watch. Okay. And then put your cobbler back over here. And then pour the batter that you just made over your cobbler. Mm -hmm, like so. Yep. Oh, I didn't put my flour up quite good enough. Let me kind of get that in there. You know what? I'm old school, so it do what it do. Okay, let me mix that cinnamon and stuff up in there a little bit. Okay, you got it. Then you're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for about a half an hour. When it bubbles up and it's brown on top, you'll know it's done. Here's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Piping hot. You can see it's still bubbling on the edges. Mmm, yummy. Okay, everybody. I hope you'll enjoy your sweet potato cobbler. I'm gonna put a little bit of whipped cream on mine. Yes, let's go. A very simple and easy recipe. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. But let's not forget to go out and surprise each other with kindness. Have a good one. Enjoy your sweet potato cobbler. Boom. Oh my God.